Today's delivery, several tons of fruit and vegetables, is very welcome. Some of these chimpanzees were rescued from traps set by poachers. Others are orphans, left behind after their families were killed. The chimps stay in these cages only at night. In the morning, the day begins with one of three feeding sessions. Waiting for breakfast can be a frustrating business. For some, mealtimes are a free-for-all. Others rely on their ingenuity. But in the end, everyone's happy and well-fed. Ngamba Island is a sanctuary for chimpanzees. The chimps who arrive here all have a traumatic history. Survivor lost his mother. He had no one to socialize him or protect him from bullying by other chimps in the group. Survivor was attacked by another male chimp who bit him and broke his leg. I'm trying to palpate the area where the fracture was or where the, uh, where the bait was. And uh, he's not feeling any pain. But scars have been left behind, even if they're not visible. He became a, a bit more fearful. Whenever he could hear them part hooting as they come back, you could see him uh, a little bit fearful. Yeah. Chimpanzees are emotionally complex creatures. The loss of their families leads to behavioral disturbances. The caregivers on Ngamba spend a great deal of time helping the chimps deal with the trauma they've experienced. Medina was going to be sold by poachers in the Middle East. As a baby, she was found in the carry-on bag of a passenger on board a flight to Cairo. For a long time, she was very shy and fearful, but then she discovered painting. None of the chimpanzees here will ever leave the sanctuary. They're too traumatized to be able to reintegrate into a chimp community in the wild. Though humans and chimps have much in common, they rarely get along as well as they do on Ngamba Island. We head for northern Uganda, where peace has finally returned after decades of civil war. Chimps and other primates still live in the small areas of intact rainforest here. But their habitat is under threat. Much of what was once forest is now under cultivation. There are few alternatives to farming here. The chimps and other apes who once lived in the forests now come to the fields in search of food. We had to destroy this because we had some problems of these wild animals like the chimpanzees and the, the, the red-tailed monkeys, the baboons were destroying our plantation of these sugar canes here. So that I got a lot of losses eh? and this forced me to cut down the trees because they were just lying, sleeping in those ways, making their houses there. Every year, about 3% of Uganda's rainforest is cut down. The country has a tremendous diversity of primate species. How can they be preserved? That's the question that Julius Kwamya asked himself some years ago. He used to hunt chimpanzees because they laid waste to his fields. He since teamed up with the Chimpanzee Sanctuary and Wildlife Conservation Trust. They discovered a method of cultivation that can sustain both people and wildlife. These are passion fruits. They give high returns. Uh, we are encouraging farmers to produce these high-value crops so that uh, they have an increased income. The farmers can make a decent income with the fruit, which has two growing seasons. And there's also enough left over for the chimpanzees who love passion fruit. Julius Kwamia also cultivates raffia palms for the tobacco industry. Chimpanzee mothers often hide their babies from predators in the thickets of the palm tree groves. In what remains of Uganda's rainforest, chimps can still live undisturbed. They're also a big draw for scientists who come to study the behavior of our closest living relatives in their natural habitat. Chianda Bosco is also a regular visitor. In Bodongo Forest, one male is currently challenging the existing pecking order. He wants to be the leader of the group. 
that's a cutter. He is uh, approximately 26 years old. He ranges between number four and five. Kato likes to spend his afternoons alone. He rarely seeks direct confrontation. Instead, he prefers to find allies. And Kato does have friends. How they struggle for their hierarchy, it involves a lot of processes. So it's not all about being strong. It's not all about being wise, but it really requires both wisdom and strength. Whenever Kato joins the rest of the group, he creates quite a stir. The current group leaders keep a particularly close eye on their rival. Almost the same as we do. So it makes, it makes me excited and I learn a lot. I think I hope to be another great politician. Chandia Bosco says he would use his position to advocate policies that are beneficial to chimps and their kind. 